good morning after having looked at the summary and analysis of the poem the scholar gypsy by matthew arnold we will now take a look at some of the questions question 1 what is the summary of the scholar gypsy by matthew arnold the scholar gypsy was of 1853 poem by matthew arnold whose dates are 24 december 1822 to 15th april 1888 a major english poet essayist and educational administrator it is based on a story arnold encountered in joseph glanville's the vanity of dogmatizing about an impoverished Oxford student who joined a band of gypsies and assimilated to their culture the narrator is a modern man who lo- looks back nostalgically on the earlier scholar this framework evokes a typical theme of arnold in which people are caught between two worlds or cultures but are never truly at home in either the narrator is a contemporary perhaps representing arnold himself who is walking near oxford and reading glanville's account of the scholar gypsy the poem consists of 25 10 line stanzas the stanzas consist of 9 lines of iambic pentameter and one the sixth line of each stanza of iambic trimeter the rhyme scheme is a b c b c a c d d c the setting is pastoral and the narrator first contemplates the countryside in general and then oxford in the distance he remarks on the book he is carrying and then summarizes glanville's story The poem ends with an extended meditation on whether the scholar found happiness in his life as a gypsy the nature of the moments of illumination of gypsy wisdom and the lessons they might hold for the problem of the modern thinker or poet The second question explain the scholar gypsy as a pastoral elegy An elegy is a poem reflecting on an important often somber theme usually someone's death in relation to poetry a pastoral is a piece evoking the blissful joys of a heavily romanticized r- rural life a bucolic idyll populated by nymphs shepherds and cavorting or dancing or jumping around wood sprites wood sprites can be understood as spirits living in the jungle a pastoral elegy then combines elements of both kinds of poem to create a work that movingly laments someone recently deceased deceased means dead presented in the guise of a shepherd One of the most popular examples of the sh- sub-young is Milton's Lycidas, in which a late fellow student of his, one Edmund King, is portrayed as a shepherd inhabiting a dreamily lush Arcadian landscape. Matthew Arnold, in writing The Scholar Gypsy, utilizes the traditional elements of pastoral elegy. but at the same time develops in a slightly different direction the rural life which the wandering scholar is now thought to lead is presented favorably by comparison with the world he has left behind a world in which the passage of clock time the endless moments exhaust the energy of strongest souls and numb the elastic powers but having renounced his former life the scholar gypsy has achieved immortality 
no longer subject to the deadening hand of time and all it brings free from the sick fatigue fatigue means tiredness the languid doubt which must to have tried which much to have tried in much been baffled brings o life unlike to ours no less than in other examples of pastoral elegy the countryside is presented by arnold as a timeless haven from the cares of the moral mortal world a place where free spirits such as the scholar can truly live move and have their being the simplicity of rural life with all its natural diurnal rhythms is contrasted with the sick hurry of the modern urban life world the scholar gypsy is ageless because he cannot succumb to the strange disease of modern life he is left all that behind arnold breaks with the tradition of pastoral elegy by treating the scholar gypsy as if he were alive although he has been rumored to wander the countryside for the better part of 200 years he is still portrayed in the poem as being very much alive in spirit his rare appearances down the years glimpsed by shepherds and other country folk it is the truthfulness of their testimony which gives the poem's speaker the confidence to assert the continued existence of this truant boy more about the scholar gypsy as a pastoral elegy introduction an elegy is normally defined as a short poem of lamentation or regret it is called forth by the death of a beloved or a revered person a general sense of pathos of mortality can also inspire a poet to compose an elegy in relation to poetry a pastoral is a piece evoking the blissful joys of a heavily romanticized rural life a bucolic idyll populated by nymphs shepherds and cavorting wood sprites a pastoral elegy then combines elements of both kinds of poem to create a work that movingly laments someone recently deceased presented in the guise of a shepherd in the first car- category of elegies are milton's lycidas which was written on the death of edward king shelley's adonais written on the death of a h clow the second category deals with general sorrow loss or pain thomas gray's elegy written in uh, the country churchyard and arnold's scholar gypsy come in this second category the elegies of arnold can be divided into parts oxford elegies and personal elegies the scholar gypsy and thyrsis are labeled as oxford elegies yet another type of the elegy is the pastoral elegies in such an elegy poet assumes the shape of a shepherd and laments the loss of his friend also disguised as a shepherd a pastoral elegy has its origin in greece according to the greek tradition a shepherd sang a song to mourn the loss of his compeer matthew arnold is a celebrated elegiac poet by virtue of both the quality and quantity of his poems Ator, according to garrod the whole temper of arnold's muse uh, is a melancholy w h hudson pointed out that the basis of an elegy is sincerity of emotions along with felicity of expressions if this be so arnold is without doubt the greatest among the elegiac poets 
the scholar gypsy is marked by stateliness of utterance and a sad undertone capable those he was of being capable though sorry he was of being joy and light hearted in prose arnold seemed to surrender himself in poetry to the melancholic strain the mournful recesses of his heart as you walker stated nothing in arnold's poetry is more arresting than its elegiac elegiac element this scholar gypsy is founded on a story in richard glanville's vanity of dogmatizing poverty forced him to leave from oxford studies and join a band of gypsy and learn their tricks this poem is a pastoral elegy based on the greek model the background is rural one finds such terms as ship and shepherds flowers and fields pipes and plants the poet develops this theme without budging an inch from the rural setting following are the features of the scholar's gypsy as enumerated a criticism of life arnold held that poetry is a criticism of life according to him the greatness of a poem lies in his powerful application of ideas to life to the question how to live the tranquility of the oxford hills by contrast remind arnold of the feverish life of the modern men the recollection of the signal elm tree revive the memory of the scholar gypsy in the victorian era a modern man fluctuated idly without term or scope the scholar gypsy was fed up with the life around him this ideas and ideals were diametrically opposite to those of his contemporaries this is because he was born before this storage disease of modern life with its sick hurry and divided aims was rife oxford in those days was in turmoil uh, according to the on account of the religious controversy or rather on the because of the controversy regarding religion the oxford movement tried to restore to religion its play its place of prestige scholar gypsy however found that religion was on trial he found himself helpless among light half believes of his casual creed thus arnel criticized the existing trends in life b musical language a pastoral elegy is invariably musical in fact music and melody are romantic concepts Arnold's poetry however incorporates these romantic traits he expresses his concern at the advent of materialism advent means arrival he bewails the loss means he mourns the loss of happy times but he derives consolation from the assumption that the champion of orthodoxy the scholar gypsy is not death he describes his feeling in a figurative and musical language thou hast not felt the lapse of thou hast not lived why shouldest thou perish he asks to make his language musical and memorable arnold employed diverse figures of speech he cited the instances of simile metaphor antithesis etc for example he advises the scholar through a simile to avoid the modern people avers as dido did with kashcher's storm dido the queen of carthage cheated aeneas a trojan prince when they met in the land of death this is because he had cheated her the following instance of repetition advises the scholar to make an exist exist from the scene
Fly our pathos, our feverish content fly. Fly our greetings, fly our speech and smiles. All the instances indicate that Arnold was an expert in using musical language. Love of nature. One cannot conceive of a pastoral elegy without the involvement of nature. Bickley, an eminent Victorian critic, rightly remarked, It is a treatment of nature that Arnold is dominant. Any extroverted elegy of Arnold can be considered as a poem of nature. Arthur Quitter Coach observed, who can think of Arnold's poetry as a whole without feeling that nature is always behind it as a living background? For Arnold, nature's secret is not just joy but peace. The same critic goes on to say, no English poet, not even Wordsworth, had more passionate love for the country than Arnold. The Oxford countryside has been minutely described by Arnold. Any description of nature is incomplete and I without uh, for the color of subtle phrases. Arnold pointed out the flower and plants, hills, dates, the spotted leaves, the dark blue bells, scarlet poppies, purple or- orchids, etc. Speak about his keen perception. Birds are inseparably associated with nature. Arnold refers to the black-winged swallows who haunt the glittering Thames. There is ample evidence in the scholar Gypsy to prove that Arnold was keenly conscious of the natural objects and the color combination. Ageless The scholar Gypsy is ageless because he cannot succumb or give in to the strange disease of modern life. He has left all that behind. Arnold breaks into the tradition of pastoral elegy by treating the scholar Gypsy as if he were alive. Although he has been rumoured to wander the countryside for the better part of 200 years, almost like a ghost, he is still portrayed in the poem as being very much alive in spirit. His rare appearance is down the years glimpsed by shepherds and other country folk. It is the truthfulness of their testimony which gives the poem's speaker the confidence to assert the continued existence of this truant boy. The Conclusion For the English people, Arnold professed contempt for English scenery. He had conceived a passionate love which inspired him to write passages of descriptive verse in a manner peculiarly his own and with a power which in the special and limited field of its exercise is unrivaled. With this we come to an end of the poem The Scholar Gypsy by Matthew Arnold. Thank you and goodbye.